the way we are moving forward in treatment of relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis in particular, I think we are trying to introduce high efficacy options earlier, but we're also conscious of what is happening around us. And one of the big issues is, uh, which everyone knows and is the elephant in the room really, is the viral pandemic. So there have been concerns of patients making uh, hospital visits or receiving treatments which required them to come to the hospital and be in frequent contact of uh, healthcare workers. Um, so the way we are modifying the approach is to offer treatment which could be given at home without a patient having to come to the hospital, but the treatment will be equally effective and the choices would therefore be the oral therapy with high efficacy drugs like um, oral cladribine or mevenclad. And we have now got uh, or about to get the option of subcutaneous anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody therapy in the form of ofatumumab. Uh, we do have anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody therapy already, but only as an intravenous infusion as uh, ocrelizumab or ocrevas, which is very effective. So we feel by moving away from the hospital setting and treating patients in their home environment with high efficacy choices, we would mitigate the risks of safety, minimize hospital contact with patients, but also offer them um, appropriate and effective treatment options to control the, the disease. In terms of um, other developments in multiple sclerosis, I think a key uh, theme has been newer options for progressive multiple sclerosis. We are aware of ocrelizumab being effective for active primary progressive disease uh, with a shorter duration of uh, disease history, perhaps in younger patients. Now we are getting a new treatment called siponimod or mesent for uh, active secondary progressive disease, which we are hoping to launch and use in the coming months. Again, the advantage of siponimod is it's an oral therapy and could potentially be done um, without frequent hospital visits for patients. So the idea in terms of innovation in multiple sclerosis is to try and avoid risk um, in terms of hospital visits and contact, prolonged immunosuppression and um, treating patients as far as possible in their home environment with high efficacy choices.